Could be good news for customers of Levin Furniture. That's because the stores closed during the pandemic. The former owner, though, just got approval for taking back the company. Five on your side investigator Jonathan Walsh tells us what this means for customers left in the lurch by the store's closing. Just yesterday, a bankruptcy judge in Delaware gave the go-ahead for Robert Levin to buy back his former company. The deal includes millions of dollars for customers who bought furniture and never received it in recent months. These court records show the deal is worth nearly $26 million. Robert Levin is buying Levin Furniture and Wolf Furniture. I gave them my money in good faith, and I want my money back in good faith. That's Danny Wyatt. Earlier this week, back. as we told you about the dozens of complaints to the Ohio Attorney General's office filed by Levin customers just like him. He laid down $2,800 to Levin in late February and early March and has yet to see his furniture. The new deal sets aside $10 million to help hundreds and hundreds of customers in Ohio and Pennsylvania to help reimburse their losses. Now, before this announcement, Danny at one point was told he might see his money in a couple of years. I thank God that I don't have to wait one or two years to get my money back. And um, I, just, I, just, I just don't have the words to, to tell you how much I'm just happy. I have reached out to Levin headquarters and the bankruptcy attorneys. So far, no response. In previous reports, Robert Levin has said he will open up more than half of the store locations. What does that mean for us here in Northeast Ohio? We'll continue to follow it and let you know. I'm Five on Your Side Investigator, Jonathan Walsh.